Hi children, this is Punyavati, CRT in Physical Science, Dharmavaram KGBV. Today we will discuss about the new lesson Acids, Bases and Salts. Definition of Acids Acids which are sore to taste are known as acids, bases. Soapy to touch are known as bases. So, here all the substances are available for us. We can't taste by taste or touch. That's why here we can use the method is one of the indicators. Here are some pictures of acids and bases. Objectives of the lesson. In this lesson, we come to know about acids, bases and indicators, chemical properties of acids and bases, reaction of acids and bases with metals, reaction of acids with carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates. Neutralization reaction Reaction of acids with metal oxides pH scale and importance of pH scale in our daily life. Let us see. Indicators the definition of indicators, the substances which are help us to test the nature of the substance, whether they are acid or base, they are known as indicators. Types of indicators, there are two types, in, two types of indicators, natural indicators and synthetic indicators. Natural indicators, examples for that turmeric powder, red cabbage, etc. Synthetic indicators for example blue litmus, red litmus, phenophthalene, methyl orange, etc. are known as synthetic indicators. Synthetic means man-made or prepared in the laboratory. Here is one of the activity. Collect some samples. By collecting the samples, they are tested with blue and red litmus, phenophthalene and methyl oranges indicators. So what are the changes are observed? They are noted in the table. Take four watch glasses and pour some drops of hydrochloric acid in one watch glass. In second watch glass, pour some sulfuric acid. In third watch glass, sodium hydroxide solution. In fourth watch glass, potassium hydroxide solution.
dip the blue litmus paper in the first watch glass dip the red litmus paper in the second watch glass add a drop of methyl orange to the third watch glass and add a drop of phenolphthalein to the fourth watch glass so by adding that to the watch glasses we observe some changes in the samples here they are noted in the table make a note here the changes are observed by using blue red phenolphthalein and methyl oranges indicators when acids react with blue litmus turn into red in color acids react with methyl orange turn into red color bases react with red litmus turn into blue in color bases react with phenolphthalein turn into pink color bases react with methyl orange they change into yellow in color olfactory indicators the definition of olfactory indicators there are some substances whose odor changes in acidic or basic media are known as olfactory indicators examples onion it loses its characteristic smell in basic solution and retains its smell in acidic solution another example vanilla it loses its smell in basic solution lab activity reaction of acids and bases with metals what are the materials required let us see test tube delivery tube glass trough candle soap water dilute hydrochloric acid and zinc granules of the lab activity set the apparatus as shown the figure take about 10 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid in a test tube and add a few zinc granules to it when we added a few zinc granules to the test tube some of the fumes in the form of gas are liberated pass the gas being evolved through the soap water when we send the gas through the soap water some of the bubbles came through the water bring a burning candle near to the gas filled the bubble you will notice that gas evolved burns with a pop sound indicating hydrogen gas this is important reaction of acids with metals the chemical reaction of the above activity is acid when react with metal it produces corresponding salt and hydrogen gas so the general equation for this activity acid plus metal gives rise to salt plus hydrogen 
gas. From this lab activity, you can conclude that hydrogen gas is evolved when acid reacts with metals. This is the equation acid plus metal gives rise to salt plus hydrogen 2HCl plus zinc gives rise to ZnCl2 plus hydrogen In the equation in bracket they have given AQ means aqueous solution S means solid G means gas means it indicates the state of the substance. At last, we conclude that hydrogen gas is evolved when acid reacts with metal. Another activity. Now test with bases. Take a test tube. Place some zinc granules and add 10 ml of sodium hydroxide solution and warm the test tube. You will notice that evolved gas is hydrogen and the salt formed in sodium zincate. The chemical equation. For this, 2NaOH plus zinc gives rise to Na2ZnO2 sodium zincate and hydrogen gas. From these two activities, we conclude that acids and bases when react with metals they produce hydrogen gas and the corresponding salts. Next activity with carbonates and hydrogen carbonates. Reaction of acid with carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates. Take two test tubes, label them as A and B, take about 0 0.5 gram of sodium carbonate in test tube A and about 0 0.5 gram of sodium hydrogen carbonate in test tube B. Add about 2 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid to both test tubes what happens the gas is evolved past the gas produced in each case through lime water lime water means calcium hydroxide solution and record your observation The reactions occurring in the above activities are shown the following equations. Na2CO3 plus 2HCl gives rise to sodium chloride plus water plus CO2. NaHCO3 plus HCl gives rise to NaCl plus 2H2O 
plus CO2. Pass the gas evolved through lime water. CaOH taken twice plus CO2 gives rise to CaCO3 plus water. Thus, from these two activities, we can conclude that reaction of metal carbonates and hydrogen carbonates with acids give a corresponding salt and water carbon dioxide also. General chemical reactions of this metal carbonate plus acid gives rise to salt plus carbon dioxide plus water metal hydrogen carbonate plus acid gives rise to salt plus carbon dioxide plus water from this we conclude that acids whether they react with metal carbonates or maybe metal hydrogen carbonates they produce corresponding salt plus carbon dioxide plus water next we have neutralization reaction the reaction of an acid with a base to give a salt and water the generalized equation for this acid plus base gives rise to salt and water here is one of the example sodium hydroxide which is base plus hydrochloric acid which is acidic in nature when they react with they produce sodium chloride nothing but that is salt plus water h2o this is neutralization reaction with one example Reaction of acids with metal oxides. Metal oxide plus acid gives rise to salt and water. So here acids react with metal oxides. They also produce salt and water. Metal oxide react with acid to give salt and water. Both metallic oxides and metallic hydrides give salt and water thus we conclude that metal oxides are basic in nature like the metal hydroxides this reaction is similar to the reaction between a base and an acid thus we can conclude that carbon dioxide which is in non-metal oxide is acidic in nature in general all non-metal oxides are acidic in nature metal oxide react with acid it produces corresponding salt and water the generalized equation for this metal oxide plus acid gives rise to salt and water reaction of base with non metal oxides calcium hydroxide which is a base react with carbon dioxide to produce a salt and water this reaction is similar to the reaction between a base and an acid nothing but it is a neutralization reaction in general, all non-metal oxides are acidic in nature. Acids produce hydrogen ions H plus in solution, which are responsible for their acidic properties. What do acids have in common? In previous sections, you have seen that 
acids have similar chemical properties in lab activity you have observed that acids generate hydrogen gas on reacting with metals so hydrogen seems to be common element to all acids let us perform an activity to investigate whether all compounds containing hydrogen or acids are not another activity we have prepare solutions of glucose alcohol hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid etc connect two different colored electrical wires to graphite rods separately in a 100 ml beaker as shown in the figure connect free ends of the wire to 230 volt ac plug and complete the circuit as shown in the figure by connecting a bulb to one of the wires acid solutions have ions and the movement of these ions in solution helps for flow of electric current through the solution ph scale a scale for measuring hydrogen ion concentration in a solution is called ph scale ph value of a solution is simply a number which indicates the acidic or basic nature of a solution the ph concept is introduced by sorensen the scale values from 0 to 40 the ph is an indication of concentration of h plus ions ph meter nowadays we are using ph meter to measure ph values of the different water based solutions ranging from laboratories to industries the strength of acid or base depends on the concentration of h3o plus ions or oh minus produced in a solution here in this picture you observe different colors that is nothing but strong or weak acids or base by this colors we can represent here is the picture they represent the values of the different items the ph of neutral solution is 7 means which are have seven value that are indicates neutral solutions values less than 7 or acidic solution values greater than 7 or in basic solutions means they are bases now we will discuss about importance of the ph in everyday life ph plays an important role in our daily life let us see what are the various fields ph can affect the our plants and animals 
pH sensitive? Living organisms can survive only in a narrow range of pH change. When pH of a rainwater is less than 5.6, it is called acid rain. When acid rain flows into the rivers, it lowers the pH of the river water. The survival of aquatic life in such rivers becomes difficult. Is pH change cause of tooth decay? Tooth decay starts when the pH of the mouth is lower than 5.5. Tooth enamel made of calcium phosphate is the hardest substance in the body. It does not dissolve in water but it is corroded when the pH in the mouth is below 5.5. The best way to prevent this is to clean the mouth after eating food using toothpaste which are generally basic neutralize the excess acid and prevent tooth decay. pH in our digestive system. It is very interesting to note that our stomach produces hydrochloric acid. It helps in the digestion of food without harming the stomach. During indigestion, the stomach produces too much acid and this causes pain and irritation. To get rid of this pain, people use bases called antacids. These antacids neutralize the excess acid in the stomach. Antacids are medicines that neutralize stomach acid to reduce the heartburn. pH of the soil Plants require a specific pH range for their healthy growth. To find out the pH required for healthy growth of a plant, you can collect the soil samples from various places and check the pH in the manner. Self-defense by animals and plants through chemical warfare. Every animal and plant, it should protect themselves. Have you ever been stung by a honeybee? Yes or no? Bee sting leaves an acid which causes pain and irritation. A traditional remedy is rubbing the area with the leaf of the dog plant which often grows beside the nettle in the wild. Okay students, this is the acid basis.
and solves here is some of the questions are there that is assignment for you what are antacids what is a neutralization reaction give two examples thank you have a nice day this is punyavati physical science crt kgb vidharmavaram